Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they want to do this. They want to have like a shadow on the inside and the outside. And I've already done it, as you can see. But the problem they're having, they're, they're uh, going off one of my old videos where I do this right here, make a box, take the Smart Fill tool, fill it in, and then make a new item or new object, and then they're going to Gussie and Blur, going to Effects, Blur, and Gussie and Blur, and making that, but when they do that, they have the inner part of the circle, is uh, we can take this now and go to a Object, Order, Backup, hey. And they don't want, the Gussie and Blur is a big, like a big file, it's taking a little while to do it. Um, maybe I didn't hit it. But anyway, that's what they want, but see how it's turned the center all black. So all you have to do in that case, you've already got this one, take your smart fill tool and just fill that in. Now you have basically two objects. I'm gonna change the color so you can see what's happening. And now I'm gonna do this. But I am gonna make it black. And then I'm going to go to Gussie and Blur. And I'm going to use that same blurness, say OK. I'm going to move it over. And then go up to Object, Order, Back of Page. So it has not filled up that... Um, Build up that inner part so the blur is over on the outside and on the inside. And I like it the way they they did the the darkness of these. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's a pretty cool design. But that's how I would do it. Anyway, I hope that helped answer their question. Thank you for watching.